This is Zonta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2023, in particular the project browser icon for views on sheets. Here I am in Revit 2023, and if we take a look at our project browser, we now have a box that is in front of all the views that are in your Revit model. The boxes are set up such that if the cell is colored completely, that means that view is on a sheet of paper. If the box is empty, that means that the view is not on a sheet of paper. If you have a view that is half on and half off, for example, a schedule, then it would be half filled. So let's take a look at a particular file and see how this applies. If I go to create a new sheet, and we'll just use the default one. We can drag and drop any of the views that don't have a box filled. For example, this one. And it will place the view. And now you see that that box is filled. Obviously, we have to adjust the scale um, to make it smaller or larger to fit on the sheet of paper if we want to. We can also delete the view on the sheet of paper and that box will disappear. And so maybe we pick a different view, say this one and drag and drop it and place it. As usual, you can push and pull the nodes of the title marker symbol so that it's shorter. Now, if we take a look at, say, a schedule, um, let's scroll down to a sheet that has schedules. And if I were to take this particular schedule here, which is the general wall material takeoff schedule, and I would break it in half, then it's going to be broken up such that I could move this one out of the way and have this one half of a schedule on this sheet and this one over here so it doesn't show on the sheet of paper or just delete the second one off of that sheet and you'll see that in the project browser for the name header portion that has the name of the schedule it shows it's half filled because half of it is on a sheet of paper and the other half is not. So it's pretty straightforward from the standpoint of how to use it. Um, and it's a nice function to have. If I were to right click it, I could uncheck show view placement on sheet status icons and that box will disappear. Um, honestly, I would prefer to leave it on because it makes sense. And that's it. It's real simple. As usual, if you have any questions, just reach out to me, and thank you very much for watching.